No matter how late it is, I have to read three newspapers online from my country. So it actually takes almost all my spare time. So I was coming here for my vacation, and uh, I tried to find a few people in this area to chat with to ask them that, you know, where should I see, where should I go and stuff. So, um, I sent messages to a few people. One of them was Keith. My mother had my computer kauft, because I was solo and so, I was bad drauf. Mommy had my computer kauft, then is irgendein Typ come and had it installed. Und damals war ich noch dicke, dicke Freunde mit der Felice und die hat mir eine E-Mail geschrieben. Und da hat der Provider von ihrer, bei dem sie ist, hat eine, hat eine Werbeeinschaltung gehabt und die hieß Partnersuche. Und die Felice wusste, dass ich alleine bin und ich habe mir gedacht, na, die Felice schickt mir das. Und ich habe prinzipiell auf alles geklickt, weil <lacht> das war einfach lustig. Und habe auf Partnersuche geklickt und dann ist eben Love.at aufgegangen. Und ich habe alles ausgefüllt. <lacht> Wie er nicht ausgegangen, ich war nicht. keine Ahnung gehabt. Auf jeden Fall war ich somit in dieser Partnersuche Love.at drinnen. And 15 days later, he responded me. And said hi, and I said, why you didn't talk to me all these days? That was weird, you know? He said uh, he never been on this program for a long time. And that day, the day he responded to me, um, he was doing something on the computer. All of a sudden, that a chat program activated itself, and he saw my, uh, you know, message. Und ich habe E-Mails gekriegt und E-Mails und ich war jeden Tag nur am Löschen. Und es waren immer Nummern, aber beim Paul ist in Großbuchstaben gestanden, so wie er heute noch alles schreibt, in Großbuchstaben, was mir wahnsinnig macht mittlerweile, ja, weil ich zum Beispiel in meinen Arbeitsdateien schreibe ich nicht mit großen Lettern, ja, wenn ich was groß schreibe, dann ist es ganz wichtig. Paul schreibt immer alles in groß, ist wurscht, kleines Detail. So he said, uh, good morning. I said, what good morning? It's 5 p.m. here. He said, 5 p.m.? Where the hell are you? <laughs> I told him that I'm, you know, that I am and stuff. So he was kind of shocked and he said, oh my God. And the other side of the world. Anstatt einer Nummer stand in Großbuchstaben Paul Gesner. Ich habe das angeklickt. Stand drauf, hallo, uh, das Internet oder der Computer hat dich für mich ausgewählt, melde dich doch. I'm working with my radio in the Prague and Malvinas uh, cousins speak me with the messenger, chat, he speak me, I'm, I, I'm have a good friend with you, you need to speak, this is your email, yeah, next I'm sent uh, the email with Malvina, I have to just the speaking, she is, yeah, why not, you from this radio, it's alright, it's new friends with me, with Prague, I have to more, more, more information, that's my country and everything. Uh, used to work in a internet radio and my uncle used to listen to that radio and he he became friends with Bohumil in a they, they 
were chatting on the internet together and my uncle told my uh, Bohemil that he has a, that um, his cousin's got a daughter and she's 25 years old, she's nice and stuff and uh, um, yeah, so Bohumil uh, wrote me email and then I wrote him back and then we started chatting on MSN Messenger every day. Yeah, first we chatted a little bit, then a little bit more and then it uh, we chatted for like eight hours a day, maybe more. <laughs> you have no conversation, you have no dialogue. He's in his world. You are in your world. All he asks you to provide second income to home. He doesn't even touch you. He doesn't care what you do. I mean, but I can't, I'm not the person like, okay, if you're not, you know, if you don't care about me, I go outside and find somebody else and play. I can't do that. So I just, you know, I just sit there till the time comes, right time, and I just get out of there. I mean, it is so annoying. If you live uh, this situation for long enough, it's so easy to lose your, um, you know, mental health, everything, because, I mean, you don't realize in this relationship that there is nothing wrong with you. And there is nothing you can do about either. And if I, now I, I consider myself intelligent. I'm not stupid, I know that. I'm not smart, but I'm not stupid. And if I was, you know, little other side and I could, I could lose my self-confidence, I did little, but, um, I knew I can do better and I can just get out of this situation. And then I focused on that. If I was in my country still, I'm retired now. I supposed to stay home, do whatever I want. And you don't need to fight, especially if you're married. You don't have to fight with life. Yeah. But I'm just starting all over again. <laughs> It doesn't scare me though. It's kind of good. I think kids got more chance here than in, in Europe. Uh, freedom. Freedom, yeah. It's a different lifestyle. Yeah? Uh, I came here when I was 12, so... I don't really remember that much of a lifestyle back home, but because uh, I'm used to over here, I'm definitely who I am that's, you know, gypsy, because my parents are...